one of the things that we ask about here is what happens to these normally healthy blood vessels in the setting of Moya Moya. Uh, Moya Moya is a condition uh, initially described uh, in the 60s in Japan uh, where the word itself means puff of smoke. Uh, the reason it's called puff of smoke is that when you look at the blood vessels on an x-ray picture, on an angiogram, uh, what happens is that the carotids, the two blood vessels in the front, progressively narrow over time and the brain is therefore starved of oxygen. The pipes aren't getting enough blood up to the brain. Um, the result of that is the brain does anything it can to bring in other blood supply to keep the brain healthy uh, and what it does is it opens up a lot of tinier vessels both through making pre-existing vessels getting bigger and also making um, new vessels to uh, meet the supply. Um, when you look at these new tiny blood vessels what are called collaterals on x-ray they look like a puff of smoke and that's the response uh, called moya moya. Um, the analogy I would give is if you shut down, for example, a major highway, like here in Boston we have I-93, uh, and if you can't get the traffic where it needs to go, it's going to take or create a lot of tiny back roads. And that same process is an analogy to what happens in Moya Moya, where the main blood vessels, the carotids, narrow down, uh, and those can extend to the main pipes in the brain, the anterior cerebrals and the middle cerebrals, and then all the tiny back roads, the collateral vessels developed, to try to meet with the demand that the brain has.